want to demonstrate on how to do a C scale, but to do it for two octaves. In my prior video, we did it for one octave. So it's basically the same. And hopefully I don't have to teach as much this time because you learned that on the prior video. So you're just going to go, remember it's in groups of threes and fours and that, if you can remember that, it'll be so much easier. So it's just a group of three, tuck under, a group of four, and then when we did one octave, we ended with our pinky. But when we do two octaves, we tuck our thumb under to our C, and we do another group of three, just like we're starting over. We have our group of four, and we end on C. Okay, and then we come back down, we have our group of four, cross over with three, cross over with four, cross over with three. Okay, and remember to keep your, um, place your uh, finger on the side of the nail, not back here. You don't want to play back here, because that drops your wrist. So when you try and go faster, that will really hold you back. So I'm going to play it on 60 beats per minute, two octaves. Tuck under. Tuck under. Group of three. Tuck under. Go back down. Group of four. Crossover, group of three. Crossover, group of four. Crossover, group of three. Okay, let's do the left hand. So we start with our pinky. We have our group of four. Let's take this off. So let's start with our left hand, group of four. Crossover, group of three. Okay, so that's one octave. Now we're going to go into the second octave. So we're going to cross with our finger four. And we cross over our middle finger. Come back down. This is our group of three. Tuck under with our thumb. Group of four. Tuck under with our thumb. Group of three. Tuck under. Group of four. So, and remember on the technique to just move in the direction that your hand's going, let that weight shift gradually. And that's how you're going to be able to gain speed and control later on if you really practice shifting that weight. Okay, so now I'm going to um, demonstrate on playing it hands together. Um, well, let me play it one time with the metronome hands separate in the left hand, 60 beats per minute. try it hands together and this is not easy the first time you just have to take it really slow so I'm gonna go slow the first time I'm gonna stop a little bit so we start hands together the right hand has our group of three and then it tucks under left hand group of three right hand group of three left hand crosses over group of four right hand tucks under for our group of four left hand crosses over group of three left hand tucks under right hand crosses over left hand tucks under right hand 
chest is over. Left hand tucks under, right hand crosses over. Okay, and that can be really daunting in the beginning. So you wanna just go slow and just, it will come with practice. Um, that kinesthetic muscle memory in your fingers, it will just come, trust me. Okay, so now I'm gonna play it up to tempo, 60 beats per minute, just nice and slow, so you can just kinda hear how it, you wanna get to this point. that slowly and it will come.